All right, you might be seeing this and saying, ah, shit, slides. Well, slides suck. I agree, I sat through four hours of them last night, so I'll make this quick. But what I wanted to quickly do is just walk through what is a development debugging process. When I see an issue, what are the steps I take to solve that issue? And everyone's got their own way. I want to keep this simple and quick, though. And it's just kind of like the mental model that I use when I approach a bug. So first off, identify the issue. Maybe that is you see that red screen of death or whatever it is in React Native now. Um, basically, just identify that issue. Maybe things just aren't adding up. Numbers aren't adding up. When you press a button, it's not showing up. Identify that issue. Where is it uh, happening? And what are the actions you take to actually cause that issue? And then once that you've identified the issue, isolate that issue. Take out as many variables as you can and figure out, OK, it's when I press this button or when I scroll down to the bottom of the screen and then press this button, that's when this issue happens. Once you've uh, isolated whatever the exact issue is, try to simplify it as much as possible. See if you can break it down that maybe it's in the case of scrolling down and then tapping a button, the gesture handler isn't releasing correctly so that when you try to tap that button, your button isn't actually the one responding to the touch. It's the, the scroll view or whatever it is. See if you can simplify it. See if, may, or maybe on another hand, the button doesn't, you have a typo in the on press prop, whatever it may be. Try to simplify the problem as much as possible once you've isolated where exactly it's happening. Once you've isolated it, fix it in the most simple way. So let's go back to that button example. On press, there was a typo in it. All right, so you've, isol you've isolated that issue. You fixed where you just have the button. When you press just the button, it's the only thing on the screen. Storybook would be a great case on that. Uh, got a course on how to use Storybook to build a component library. But once you fix that simple case in Storybook, you make sure everything's functioning correctly. Uh, then go ahead, go back to the actual application where it's being used, where you first saw that issue and then fix it there, which is my next slide. So fix it in your basically sample case, make sure things work uh, in isolation. And then once you make sure each uh, component is working within that screen, then you can go back, make sure things are working uh, when they're all integrated together and fix any issues that may be happening. Like I was mentioning earlier, maybe gestures aren't uh, responding or interacting correctly. So you can go ahead and fix those, the real world problems once you've kind of fixed the, uh, the smaller issues. Finally, um, I can't say I'm the best about this, but consider adding some test cases in there. Uh, for example, that typo that could have been caught by a test quickly and easily uh, to show that you know, you've got that typo in place. So uh, typically what I'm doing, the work that I'm typically doing, which is a lot earlier stage, uh, once I identify an issue or an issue has bitten me, that's the point I'm typically adding tests. It may not be the best way, but it's what works for me uh, at this stage of the game on the projects I'm working on. But once I've identified an issue, isolated it, simplified it, fixed the simple case, fixed the real world case, I want to add some tests in there uh, to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So that's it. That's basically my development debugging process. So when I'm working in development, just kind of like, you know, working on a feature uh, and I identify a bug, that's how I'm going to approach fixing that. So I promise I would keep the slides short, sweet, and simple. So see you in the next one.